Today we're going to take a look at animating with assembly. This is the first in our series and this one will focusing on animating completely within the app. If you like this video and you found it helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel for loads more assembly content. Before we get started on creating our 8-bit frog, I'm going to run through exactly how we can create this type of animation completely in assembly. Assembly has video exporting functionality. This functionality was originally designed to create a type of making of animation where all our shapes build on. What we're going to do is change the order of those shapes so we completely control what shapes come on and off at a particular time. So for example, if we select our circle and move it to the back, when we go to export our video, the circle now reveals first. We can take this a step further if we now go to our quarter circle and place that at the back, our animation now is the complete opposite of our original animation. In our frog animation, I started by creating a base scene, all constrained within a grid of squares. I included water, a leaf and our frog. We don't want these elements to animate on, so all I did was export this as an image and use this image as our background. I'll start by adding two eyes and then add a slightly open mouth. Now all we need to do is layer up blocks of colour on top of this mouth getting bigger and bigger. Once our mouth is fully open now we overlay green blocks of colour starting from the top getting bigger again till our mouth is fully closed. It's as simple as that. Let's go into our video export settings and render this out as a test. As you can see here, I've duplicated the shapes on top of each other, so the mouth opens twice. Next, we need to animate our fly. Let's start with a simple black square. Now on top of that, we need to add a blue square, which is the original color of our background. When this animates on, it will quickly disappear replaced by our background. Now, by duplicating these two squares and moving them along our grid, it will look like our fly is moving. Once we have found a sedentary position for our fly, we can now animate our frog tongue. We start by opening the mouth with a single square and add a series of squares angled up to connect with our fly. Now, all we need to do, starting from the position of the sky, is replace these squares with squares that are the same colour as our background. And when we go back to our video export and render this sequence out, like magic we have a croaking frog that eats a fly. In our next animation tutorial, we'll be using Assembly App along with Rough Animator to export a series of images out from Assembly and then sequence them up in Rough Animator to create a more complex animation. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.